name is A Max with Effects. You are now watching the AWF series, and of course, we make the unknown known. <laughs> <laughs> and today, right now, I'm here at the Tai Chung Masjid at Tai Chung, Taiwan, and sitting to my right, she goes by the name of Miss Sophia. Miss Sophia, how are yeah. you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm all right. So, Miss Sophia, may you please tell the viewers uh, who you are and what you're all about? Yeah, I'm Indonesian. I'm married to Taiwanese, and I live in Taiwan as a housewife. Okay. Yeah. And how do you enjoy your time so far in Taiwan? Taiwan is very rare. All yeah. right. And uh, Miss Sophia, may you please tell the viewers. Um, I'm going to ask you some questions related to the Islamic culture here. Uh, the first thing we'll be asking is, how are Muslims treated here? in Taiwan from your own opinion? Oh. The most, challenges and also the, the positives and the negatives from your yeah, own personal experience. Everywhere in this world I think have a bad person and good person. Mm -hmm. But in Taiwan mostly they are good. Okay. But some also keep asking me why wearing this crap. Oh. <laughs> but mostly also say good and no risk. Okay. Yeah. And also, I wanted to ask you is, uh, I've noticed that from the Christian background, yeah. uh, because I come from a Christian background, yes. and the Christian churches and also the Buddhist temples, yeah. you can see them like in huge numbers, like you see them scattered everywhere. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to Muslim mosques, yeah. you only see one in every city. And what uh, the previous interviewer, and her name is Hannah, yeah. she mentioned there's only two mosques in Taipei. Yeah. So I want to ask you, why do you think uh, there's not that many mosques in Taiwan, even though Islam is considered the second biggest language oh, yeah, in the I world? Think, I think um, it's uh, not like Christian. They, mm -hmm. Young people, many many introduce introduce uh, Christian to all the people. Oh, okay. But we are Muslim. No, we are keep stay here. <laughs> when people come and they ask and we say that's all. So uh, yeah. So there's no like Muslim missionaries that that goes around. Yeah, yeah. No, no Muslim missionary. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Do you think that will? You think that that might help? Uh, yeah, numbers, yeah. Or maybe. We must follow. They are Christian. Introduce Muslim. Oh on yes. The road. <laughs> so yeah. Sometimes you see them on the, yeah, on the bikes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, number three is the Muslim holidays. Yeah. Uh, I've noticed that with the uh, like with the Christian holidays, especially Easter and Christmas, uh, you see the entire country celebrating these holidays. But you don't see many people celebrating uh, the Islamic holidays, like the Islamic New Year, Ramadan, Iftar, Eid. So I want your opinion. Why do you think that is? Yeah, because our Muslims celebrate our day in this mosque mm -hmm. and not many outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And why do you think that is? But, yeah, there's um, not many Muslims here, I think. Only Indonesia. Mm -hmm. Foreigner more, and they do in station celebrate their day. I mean, it and Ramadan, we are celebrate by ourselves. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and do you also know Arabic as well? Like the Arab, like do you also read this? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. I I try to read like this is alu alu roof rough. Yeah, but you see my my Arabic is. Oh. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Uh, I tried to learn Arabic because uh, for me and my family background, uh, I lived in Dubai oh, I see. Uh, for six and a half years. So yeah. I know the Islamic culture and the Islamic religion. Very, well, I have a lot of friends and also some of my bosses mm -hmm. uh, were you know, from the Muslim faith. Oh, yeah, so I, so, uh, so I know the whole atmosphere quite well. Yeah. So, and um, when I first lived in Dubai, I had to learn to read, I, to read Arabic. Yeah. So I know some I texts, I just forgot what these were. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so going back uh, to what I was mentioning, um, what about the restaurants yeah. or like, like you know, foods in Islamic culture? You have a you have a a type called haram and also halal, and halal is the food dishes that, of course, you can eat or you're recommended to eat, but haram is the mm -hmm. substances that you're not allowed to touch or a lot of not allowed to digest. So I want to ask from you, how easy was it to find restaurants that were considered halal? 
oh, it's very difficult to find oh, halal, yeah. yes. <laughs> so what we can eat are vegetarian if mm. we can find the halal. Oh. Even Indonesian restaurant in Taichung also, mm. no halal, mm. only one, two, that's all, mm. yeah. So, well, so if you consider McDonald's and McDonald's, Subway, we hope in Taiwan can <laughs> can say halal, ah. but Taiwan mix with pork. Okay. Yeah. Oh yes, you can have the pork. The yeah. Pork with yours. Yeah. Okay. And also the last thing, uh, Sophia, is there anything else you want to share to the people out there? Like, like, how was your personal life as a Muslim here in Taiwan? And do you have any advice for new? Uh, Muslims who are deciding to live or to study or to mm -hmm. visit Taiwan What is like the first steps that they can do to make themselves feel more comfortable here in the uh, country? Yeah, I think we don't need to hesitate to stay in Taiwan as a Muslim Because they are very welcome But some of people in Taiwan keep ask, asking about scrap It's not very convenient to me and they will, they said suggest me to open this craft but I can say uh, it's okay. This is my this is my pet food, mm -hmm. and they they still don't understand. Oh. <laughs> but for men, it's very convenient. But for women, we you know, we because we are very scrub. Right. Yeah. In Taiwan, very hot here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the people seeing like this very very strange like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's all. Oh. Yeah. Well, let's hope that in the future, by the next decade, 2020, uh, things will change. For yeah, the inshallah. <laughs> and guys, if you guys want to know more about the Islamic culture here in Taiwan, please check out the links at the bottom. And also hit that subscribe button to see more interviews about the foreign community here in the country. And once again, my name is A Max with the Facts. You have now seen the AWF series. And of course, we make the unknown. Noon. That's right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Thank you.